Well, all right, so to do this project, there are several tools we will need, nothing too bad. If you're familiar with carving pumpkins, or you know, if you've done it before, you might even have some tools and some knowledge of how to do this. Pretty much you will need a pumpkin, one that will you know fit all of your circuitry. Uh, you're gonna need some scoopers, that's a scooper, and then some carving tools. Pretty much all of that, and then a bucket to discard the inside of the pumpkin, obviously. And so if you've seen my last, project that I did where uh, I made the little guitar amplifier and I actually ran it through a subwoofer. Uh, that came from this batch of chips too. Went ahead and bought some LM386 chips. These are LM386-4, so they're the one watt version. And this is the exact same circuit that I used in that. The only thing is I did add a couple things. One thing, you can kind of see it right there, is that 10 ohm resistor and then a 104 a ceramic capacitor and that's called a Zobel network that makes it sound a lot better it took out a lot of that sound or that noise that we had the last time uh, as you can see everything's kind of like got a green uh, kind of covering on it what that is is I usually I take some hodgepodge or Mod Podge I'm sorry it's been around forever and uh, I put that on the tip of a green marker so it kind of mix in with the ink and uh, just figured it would kind of isolate everything. Um, uh, it's kind of, inside of a pumpkin, it's very mushy and wet. So I figured I would try to, you know, isolate everything as much as I could. The other thing I did was, on the power supply, we took and moved our power supply cap away from the chip. But I also added a couple LEDs. So I was planning on, you know, cutting out, making a jack-o'-lantern. And like having the eyes glow, one red, one blue. But uh, my uh, thinking has changed a little bit now on how I'm actually going to make uh, or integrate the speaker into the pumpkin. So it kind of doesn't really coincide with that. But we'll keep it in there uh, just in case. I might kind of cut, you know, make out a little cool thing that'll let this uh, light kind of shine through. Maybe like carve a little guitar or something. I don't know. That might be a little bit too much. But so and the only other thing I did was I took this is an 8 ohm 4 watt speaker that I got from a little boom box and I just soldered the leads and taped them. So basically everything is pretty much ready to go. Well okay so I had a couple of different ideas about how I was going to do this. My first idea was basically to cut out like you normally would and then so you would have your removable uh, kind of cap for it. Actually this is completely my brother's idea and uh, shout out to him. <laughs> so uh yeah, appreciate it. But so what he suggested was to, you know, take it all out, mount the speaker from the inside, and just kind of drill holes to kind of, you know, emulate a grill. And uh, another thing I've been thinking about is how am I going to get, you know, the volume knob and then the jack. It's going to be kind of hard because this actually is a pie pumpkin. This is pumpkins for making pie. So I think that it's a lot thicker so I don't know I'm gonna have to scoop out extra to make that happen but I was having you know problems figuring out how I'm gonna do all that but I figure I'm gonna do that with the speaker mounted inside still cut out the top and uh, just have everything kind of inside so when you want to turn it up or whatever take this off and then you can turn it up uh, to get the jack I think I'm just gonna drill a hole or make a hole in the back and then just kind of feed the jack in connect it, and then kind of put it all back in there. And then shooting back to the circuit real quick, a little bit of a history on this. Uh, the ones that, you know, the uh, Native Americans used back then, and uh, Lord May, those were all vacuum tube. Uh, the first one to actually use a solid state, you know, class AB amplifier like this, I uh, believe was Eric Clapton. Uh, it was around the time of the, you know, the American Civil War. And uh, that, fun little fact, is where he came up with his uh, inspiration to make the uh, the song uh, the Tales of Brave Ulysses. So that's a little bit of time of your life that you will never get back. I'm sorry for that. Please don't unsubscribe if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're unsubscribed. Subscribe. So anyways, I have a pretty good idea of how we're gonna do this. I guess we're just gonna have to see how it plays out. Uh, once you know we go along uh, 
Another real quick thing is if you're not really familiar with gourds uh, or if you don't have them in your region, this is called a bumpy pumpkin, apparently. I don't I don't know what these are called. If you know exactly what this type of gourd is called, put it down in the comments. And then, and then this type, I believe, is just, you know, a carving pumpkin, uh, your regular old pumpkin, but it's just a baby. So I bought this one kind of thinking, you know, Maybe something small like that would be cool. Put a little, you know, make a really small amplifier, but I don't think there's going to be enough room inside of these. I've never opened one of these. I've never opened one of these, and I have no idea what's inside of uh, the pie pumpkin. So this is going to be, this is going to be kind of interesting. So I guess first things first is I'm going to cut out the top, and that's obviously normally what you do. So I don't know how well this is going to go on camera. It's usually better to draw yourself a little template, but I think I know kind of how I want to do this. It's pretty much really easy. Just go around in a circle. Boy, I can't make a circle at all, can I? Okay, I'm sorry, I know that that moves the camera a whole bunch. Okay, so that looks pretty much like, kind of like a normal pumpkin. Okay, well, I would love to play all of that, but actually I was just sitting here listening to this for about, I don't know, maybe a half an hour, and uh, I'll tell you what, this little circuit right here, you know, pretty much makes this speaker sound just as good as it did when it came out of the boombox that I took it out of, uh, but yeah, so pretty much we're going to have to go with plan A. Um, I tried to, you know figure out a way to put the speaker mounted inside, but it's kind of hard to do, you know, a 2D plain flat circle going into a 3D. It just doesn't, the geometry doesn't really work. Um, you could probably mount them, you know, on the side straight like I did this one, but I think I'm gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and do like I was gonna do. Uh, maybe carve a little jack-o'-lantern thing in there so our LEDs can shine through and maybe it'll give it some porting. But, uh, yeah, so pretty much what I have going on here as well is uh, I have, if you have an adapter, you can pretty much just make this a little music player. Now, this, running it like this, it has, uh, what is that, plus 200 gain. So if you're going to run this circuit like, you know, a music player, I would suggest not adding this that uh, 10 microfarad gain capacitor on your gain circuit. Just leave the gain circuit open. All right, so it claims that this is uh, copyright, non-copyrighted music. We'll go ahead and take a listen to it. It's very loud. All right, so it wouldn't be right if we didn't give a shout out to Big D. Okay, I did a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so I carved the jack-o'-lantern. I also made a hole in the back uh, 
which you will see what's going to happen with that in a second. Uh, the cord's going to go through there. But what I did was I took, because, you know, inside of a pumpkin, it's all wet and mushy and stringy and very yucky. So I'm going to take and put all the whole circuit inside of this bag. And I have a hole at the bottom of one side and a hole at the top of the other. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to put the circuit in there and then have the cord come in through here and then connect and then uh, this hole is for the LED can kind of stick out and hopefully be somewhere around there and it can uh, light his mouth up. So I guess we can go ahead. I guess I can go ahead and hook up the battery because I mean it's well we'll keep it up too. So the whole thing will go in here. I didn't really make a hole for the potentiometer, but I'm just going to keep it uh, all the way up for now. So basically, we're going to set this down into here somehow. Okay, I'm going to take this. We got that. Can I, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. So now we're going to take our cord, put it through there, and kind of have it come out like that. And then go in through the bag and then connect it to the jack. Now, in theory, I also want to get this LED kind of pop out over here. Let me see how I can make that happen. And the capacitor can come with it. That's fine. Okay, so something like that. Jack coming out of one side, that coming out of the other. Try to get that to go all the way over to one side. And now, hopefully, very carefully, everything will just kind of go in here. like that. We're going to have to rearrange that LED. You can kind of see it in his eye right there. <laughs> but uh, where'd it go? Yes, this has to go like this. Okay, it'll look cooler in the dark. <laughs> but all right. Well, okay, so there it is. You can kind of see the light in there. Uh, it actually looks pretty dang cool. I will turn this light off, see if that's any better. I've got the main light up top turned off, so you can kind of see it a little bit. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It uh, It sounds quieter. But this is an 8-ohm speaker, so the last time we were running that 3-ohm was really pushing the uh, chip amplifier because, I mean, they're really only rated down to 4-ohms, and 3-ohms uh, is kind of low for it. This one does sound cool, though. Black Sabbath seems fitting. So this thing is completely dead silent. The only thing is when, you know, I get a text message or something, you hear a little do-do-do-do-do-do, but that, I mean, that always happens. So yeah, pretty much we just have the cord going in the back, and then, uh, yeah, speaker. Speaker up top. Now, uh, I have the gain control, or excuse me, I have the volume potentiometer actually uh, turned all the way up 
just because, you know, for this demonstration purpose. But uh, it would be not too hard to actually just drill a hole and somehow maybe with, uh, I was thinking like toothpicks, you could kind of secure it in there and, you know, get it just enough. I mean, it's not going to last forever, obviously. This is going to rot at some point. But uh, kind of cool anyways. I mean, it does sound pretty good. Copyright me. Okay, so now just as easy as putting that in, let's hook some music up to it and let's hear how it sounds through the pumpkin when it's actually carved. <laughs> I think it'll sound different, I don't know. So, okay. Now I should be able, yeah, just to set that down and then pull this out. Kinda wanted to get this to be a little more accessible, but I guess that's fine. Okay, 30 frames per second is fine. All right, so now we've got our uh, hookup for our phone, which is basically just that adapter that uh, does quarter inch back to 3.5. Yep, you're doing something right. Let me grab the other phone. I don't know, what should we listen to? I guess.
getting after it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I hear nothing coming from that speaker. Very, very quiet. <laughs> Man, that little thing sounds so cool. But uh, yeah, time to move along. I was actually thinking probably a more practical use for something like this would be just to simply carve your pumpkin like normal, put a speaker in it. Uh, you could probably get some type of uh, LED light to go in there too and uh, play spooky music through it. Kind of have two of them, maybe one on each side of a, I don't know, somewhere. Have a fake smoke machine. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool little DIY craft, and uh, never really thought of that until I was just sitting here thinking about it. But yeah, so our forefathers would be very, very proud of this. Kind of an update on the old uh, cord gourd. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, if you guys like what you see, all that, uh, consider giving us a like, maybe subscribing. I got a lot more coming up. And again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about the pumpkin, the circuit, anything like that, put them down in the comments, and uh, please have a very good day, because I know I will. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>